Wine, the finer thing in life. A lot of people are intimidated by wine. When they see it, they go, ah, oh, shit! Well, those days are over. I'm going to teach you the terminology you need to know and introduce you to a few of my favorite wines while we're at it. This is a lovely Chardonnay with hints of tropical fruit flavors, and it goes very well with light exercise. And one and two and three and four and one and three. This is a nice meaty red. See those little things floating around inside there? Little cubes of beef. This is a nice Australian wine. It's a dessert wine, and it goes very nicely with cakes, pies, and chocolate. I saw a fat baby today, and it made me super depressed. I think that we should be allowed to drink on the streets. People always ask me the same question. What should I drink, red wine or white wine? And I always say the same thing. What am I, your mommy now? You need a new mommy? Okay, get out of mommy's vineyard. Mmm. Can you smell what The Rock is cooking? This is a weird wine. And I'll have to be quiet as I open it because the police are in the next room. Of course, they say one glass of wine a day is good for the heart. Uh, what they don't know, of course, is that I have a giant wine glass at home that can hold a full bottle of wine. So... This wine is popular with morons and idiots. Here's a tip on how to keep your wine fresh after it's been uncorked. Basically, you take the bottle, you pour the remains into a paper bag, and you jiggle it around. I used to have a friend who hated wine. He was a real a beer drinker, you see. And then one day, I sat him down and said, drink, drink this bottle of red wine, it's a gift. And he just looked up at me and said, do you even like me? This is a bottle of some butter I melted. And this is an orange. This fruity wine is popular with Catholic priests, like my mother wanted me to be. This one doesn't have any wine in it, just lint. Uh-oh, TMW, too much wine. Of course, wine lovers have always been oppressed. Jesus drank wine, that's a fact, and look where that got him. A lot of people unfairly associate wine with snootiness, but it doesn't have to be that way. In fact, sometimes I combine wine with vulgarity. See? I just shit my pants, so... I, uh, water my plants with wine. Call them my, uh, my little drunks. I know, it's not very PC. So this wino passes away, and he goes to heaven, and he meets St. Peter at the gates. And St. Peter just walks right up to him, looks him right in the eye, and shakes his hand, and says, Job well done. Job well done. Well, that's it for me, and I hope you've enjoyed learning about wine as much as I've enjoyed learning about you. Good night!